And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. That's what I was talking about earlier. In their right hand and in their forehead. Meaning to do sin and think sin. That's all it's talking about. Ain't talking about some microchip. That bull crap out of your head. Ain't no microchip going to make you sin. People are stupid as hell. The white man puts a thought in your mind to make you think that sin is pleasurable. And you end up thinking it and you end up doing it. That's the mark being in your head and in your hand. Mm. Okay. Shalom. Giving all praises on and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in all truth and sincerity. Shalom, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. The house of David, starting with the 144,000, followed by the one third remnant. Shalom. All right, so who you saw in the opening clip is this guy. All right, Deacon Yawasa of IUIC completely goes off on the MOTB, man. You know, and these guys, they're bought and paid for their compromise. Of course, you know, they, they're under the 501c3, you know. But these guys are sold, sold out, so they got to teach false doctrine, man. You know, they come against the MOTB being the C-hip. All right, which we know it is, first and foremost, through faith. But the scriptures make it uh clear, all right, that the MOTB is to see here, man. So this guy, he he he's going completely off, man. And all the leadership of IUIC is compromised, man. If there's any elect among them, you know, the Lord going to uh, separate them from IUIC, man, because that group going to be broken up, as Elder Apostle Hall always says, man. All right, but this guy, Deacon Yawasak, man, he's, He's go, he goes completely left field, completely off regarding the MOTB, man, the mark of the beast. All right. Yeah, he's talking about, hey, uh, it ain't talking about some microchip. Yes, it is. That's exactly what it's talking about. That's exactly what John the Revelator saw when he received the vision of the uh, mark of the beast, man. He saw people being, being sh sh shot up with that syringe. All right, implanted with the chip. That's what John the Revelator saw on the island of Patmos, man. All right. It's talking about sin. You thinking sin and you're doing and you're doing and you're doing sin. No, man. It's talking about the microchip. That's the mark of the beast, man. All right, Revelation 13 and 16 and 17. All right. It's talking about the microchip, not sin. Well, well, don't don't no microchip make you sin. Whoever said it did. When did we say it did, man? All right. Now taking now getting getting the chip it's, itself. All right, the very act of getting the chip, getting implanted with the chip, receiving the chip is a sin because it's against the law. All right. It's against the law. So let's uh let's get that scripture. What's that? Leviticus 19. It's against the law, man. Alright, so getting the mark itself is a sin, but sin, sin, sin is not the mark, man. Alright, now taking it is a sin, but sin itself is not the mark. Alright, Leviticus 19. And 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Let's get this word for. Let's get marks first. And I think it's uh Kwai Kwai. Let's see. Yep. Strong's H seventy eighty five. Strong's H seven thousand eighty five. Ka ka. Ka ka. All right. An In incision. An In imprintment tattoo mark. All right. Same as an incision or a gash. All right. And, and and you know when you get the chip. All right, you gonna have a gash, man. 
from 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 the incision. All right, that's another sign, man. Like right here, man, you gonna have you gonna have a gash on your hand, man. All right, look at that gash right there, man. Look at this gash. All right. <laughs> So yeah, man. You know, an incision, a gash. You know. So this guy's completely off, man. Stigma. Mark branded on the skin. And that goes into the number, that stigma goes into the number of the beast as well. Revelation 13 and 17, man. The number of the beast. All right. And you're going to be branded. Getting the chip is being branded. You're pledging servitude to the beast. All right. So, yeah, now let's go. Let's get the word. Uh, Let's get cuttings. Yeah, I see cuttings. This is the word for cuttings. Strong's H8296. Serret. Seret, and second entry, Sareteth, Sareteth. Also in incision, a cut. All right. So the very act of getting the chip is a sin because it, it's transgressing the law. All right. Here is transgressing the law written here in Leviticus, the 19th chapter. All right. Particularly the 28th verse. All right, so taking the chip itself is a sin, but sin itself is not the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast is the microchip, whether it's an RFID chip, whether it's a, whether it's a um, NFC chip. All right. Again, we never said that the mark of the, the chip, the, the microchip can make you sin. All right. But, you know, hey, who knows what is, exactly what it's going to be able to do, man. All right. <laughs> All right, who 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 knows who knows what it's gonna do, man? All right, Esau got all kind of technology, man. And ultimately, it's the Lord, you know, it's the Lord uh put giving them ideas to, uh that gave him gave him the idea for the for the microchip, man. So it's from the Lord on the left hand side. So who who knows what this thing is gonna be able to do, man? Like Elder uh, Monarch is up by saying it's a wild card, man. You know, this damn chip gonna gonna be able to do all kind of shit, man. You know. I hate when I do. There we go. So yeah, man. This thing is a wild card, man. It's unpredictable. All right. Matter of fact, let's play the clip. And he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. That's what I was talking about earlier. In their right hand and in their forehead. Meaning to do sin and think sin. That's all it's talking about. Ain't talking about some microchip. That bull crap out of your head. There ain't no microchip gonna make you sin. People are stupid as hell. The white man puts a thought in your mind to make you think that sin is pleasurable. Alright, so what about all the sin that the Israelites were doing before the white man came into power? All right, now the scriptures does say, uh, when you know, in first Maccabees, when the Greeks came into power, all right, the evils were all uh, multiplied in the earth. But, but Israel, the, the covenant had already been broken before the so called white man came into power, before the Edomites came into power, starting with the Greeks. So, what about all the sin that happened prior to the uh, Edomites coming into power? Yeah, the white man makes you think, put sin in your mind, and makes you think it's pleasurable. Well, what about the sin, you know, uh, the covenant was broken uh, well before the so-called white man came into power. It's not. It ain't about no white man making you sin, man, because sin is not the mark of the beast. It's about pledging your allegiance, man, to to the beast, man. Serving the beast. Giving your soul over to the beast. That's what the mark of the beast is about, man. Serving the beast. That's why you can't repent from it and there's no salvation. All right, on the first go-round for, for the Israelites, any, any Israelite that take the mark of the beast, they're, gonna, they're not going to make it into the kingdom on the first go-around. You cannot repent from it, man, because that's what it's all about. It's pledging your, uh, your alliance, your allegiance to the beast, man. 
You're telling the beast that, hey, my soul is yours. I serve you. I worship you. That's what the mark of the beast is about, man. Sin was going on well before the beast even came into power, man. Adam sinned did he, in the garden. Did he have the mark of the beast? You thinking you thinking about sin is the mark of the beast. So I, my question to IUIC uh, is, did, did Yahweh shall speak of the mark of the beast? All right. <laughs> did Yahweh shall since, since the, having the mark of the beast in your forehead and right hand is is thinking about sin and then and, and carrying out sin? Did Yahweh shall speak of the mark of the beast? IUIC. All right. Didn't the Apostle Paul have the mark of the beast? Matter of fact, we all got the mark of the beast. And none of us can be saved. The scriptures say all have sinned and fallen short. So, so, so every single Israelite got the mark of the beast or had the mark of the beast, as y'all would say, man. I guess y'all, I, I guess y'all also say if it's sin, then y'all must say you can repent from it. Got to be. So, so y'all saying that. I, I, you, I see every single Israelite at, at some point or another had the mark of the beast. All right. That's what y'all saying. Which is off, man. That's not true, man. The mark of the beast is an end time prophecy. Let's get the scripture, man. Because in, in, in this video, all right, he didn't even go into the buying and selling aspect of it. He ain't even going to verse, uh, verse 17. Cause you can't buy and sell with sin. That's why he he just he casually he conveniently just uh breezed over it, man. Skipped over it. Didn't go into the buying and selling aspect of it, man. Verse seventeen, Revelation uh, chapter thirteen, verse seventeen. Didn't go into it, man. All right. So let let, let let's go into it, man. Uh, Revelation thirteen, and we've done plenty plenty of videos on this, but guess what? The apostle told us to keep doing them, keep doing MOTB videos, so we're going to keep doing them, man. Especially when we see shit like this, uh, these camps going off on it. Revelation 13 and 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And in this same video, you know, I just played the part going where he went into the mark. All right. And you end up. I just played the part where he went into the mark. All right, but in this same video, right before he got into uh, verse 16, he was going into the image, and he's saying that it's a picture of Seizure Boy Jail, man, which is not true. All right, like Elder Apostle Tar said, man, when did an image of Seizure Boy Jail, uh, or in this time, uh, JC, all right, when did, the, when did a literal image receive a... Uh, wound and live all right receive a uh, wound from the sword a deadly wound at that and, and live man when did the image of the beast uh <laughs> when did the image of seizure borgia all right receive a deadly wound and, and and came back from it and was healed man when did that happen to a literal image man it didn't the image is talking about this this man's system the beast system being a part of his society all right that's that's worshiping the image man And that's why if you don't receive his mark, all right, you're going to be outcast from his uh, society, man. You're going to be cast out. Some are going to be put to death. All right, and put to death is twofold, meaning you may literally put to death as in beheaded, Revelation 20 and 4, or you may uh, be outcast from society. You're not going to, well, not, not, so like you, it's not that you're, you, you may be outcast from society. You are going to be outcast from society, man. You're going to be put to death as far as, far as participating in this man's system operating in society all right so that's what the image is this man's system taking part in his society that's worshiping the image man all right verse 15 and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed Verse 16, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And we know this, man. We've done it to death, but we're going to keep doing it, man, through the Spirit. The word here for mark is karagma. 
All right. And they don't go into the, to the Hebrew and the Greek, man. They don't look up words. That's, you know. Because it's plain if you would just study and look up words. Karagma, a stamp and imprinted mark. Theme carved, sculpture, graven work. All right. So, yeah, man, they mark stamped on the forehead or, or the right hand. All right. So, so yeah, man. And when you go into the, uh, the root, it's uh, Karax, which is a pair or stake, a palisade. All right. And that's, that's the delivery system of the microchip, the syringe. That's that Karax, man. All right. Because it's the same word for trench here in Luke 19. Karax, man. Luke 19 and 43. For the day shall come upon thee that thine enemy shall cast a trench about thee and compass thee round about and keep thee in on every side. Let's get this word for trench. Like I said, which is Karax. All right. Yep, Karax, a pale or state, palisade, all right? So, yeah, man. All right, that's that pale or state, man. And, 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 and that's what uh, that's what John the Revelator saw, man. That's, that's, what, that's why he described the syringe, you know, that's what, that, to the best of his ability. That's why it's the same word, Karax, that's what that, uh, you know, uh, syringe looked like when John received the vision. That's what it looked like, man. That 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 syringe, that needle, man. It looked like uh, a stake, a palisade, man. All right, cause that's how you pierce something, man. Cause you have to what? You have to dig a trench. All right, and you stick the little stakes in the ground. All right, so that the John the John the Revelator described it to the best of his ability with the terminology that they had back then, man. In his time. All right. So that goes into piercing. That's that needle, man. Let's prove that. When you go to Psalms, Psalms 22. Psalms 22 and 16. This is a prophecy about Yahweh Shah's crucifixion. All right. Psalms 22 and 16. For dogs have compassed me about, Salakia. For dogs have compassed me. The assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. They pierced my hands and feet. Now this word pierce goes into uh digging. That's that that's that uh that trench, man. That's which which is what like a stake or palisade, as John the Revelator described it, man. When you get this word pierced, because all because we know you how I was pierced. With 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 hey, with those stakes, man, in his uh in his hands and, and his feet, man, and that's what John saw one of those tools, man, that Karax, man, a stake, a palisade. When you go into this word pierce in the Hebrew, here in Psalms uh twenty two and sixteen, this is the word for pierce. Strong's eight thirty seven thirty eight, Kara. 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 To dig. To excavate. Dig through. Woo! -hoo -hoo. And, and, you know, Yahweh Shah was pierced with, with what a stake or a palisade, man. And that's what, the, that's what that syringe, that damn needle looked like to John when he was, when he saw it in the vision, man. It looked like a stake, a palisade. All right? So you have to study and go into words, man. These guys are sold out. They're compromised, man. Titus, the first chapter. They're teaching for filthy lucre, man. All right. This guy, Deacon Yawasop. And I think he's one of the heads uh, under Bishop Nate, if I'm not mistaken. You know, like I said, all their leaders are sold out, man. All right. And it's clear in these last days, man. The MOTB, the, the, it's right in our faces, man. It's made manifest. Let's get that in Habakkuk.
Habakkuk 2 and 2. And the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. Yeah, and, and Great Millstone started with Elder Apostle all on down. You know, the apostles, the uh, elders, the bishops. All right, they you know, we'll, all the brothers on down, we're making the vision plain, man. The mark of the beast is the microchip. All right. Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Yeah, the mark of the beast is an end time prophecy. The mark of the beast is for an appointed time. And we're in that appointed time, man. All right. But at the end, it shall speak. And we're seeing it. It's all around us. It's right in our faces, man. I think uh, Elder Yashawama uh, posted uh, on his page earlier, you know, in his community section of his page, community tab, that uh, only 8% of currency is, is actual cash, man. The 92%, the, the other 92% is digital, man. And that's going to lead to what? The microchip, man. So it's, it's plain, man. It's right before us, man. Right in our faces. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak, and it's speaking clearly, and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. So yeah, man, it, it, it's, it's plain, man, it's plain to see, man. It's manifest, man. But again, again these guys are sold out. They're compromised, man. The micro, it can't no, it ain't talking about some microchip. Can't no microchip make you sin. We never said it did. We It can. All right, but it's going to make you be able to do all, all type of shit, man. Who knows what they're going to have in this thing, man. Ultimately, what the Lord going to have in it, because that's who doing it. All right. So, yeah, man. Let's go back to Revelation 13. It's, it's plain to see, man, if the Spirit is dealing with you, if the Lord is dealing with you, man. Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. It ain't talking about you thinking sin and then doing sin, man. No, it's talking about some people don't get the chip in their forehead. Some gonna get it in their right hand, left hand. You know, anywhere they get it, it's the mark of the beast, man. No matter where you get it at, man. It's talking about the microchip, man. Not sin. You can't buy and sell with sin as we about to go into, man. Verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. All right. So, yeah, man, you're going to have to have that chip to literally be able to buy and sell, to participate in society, to have uh, access to certain things. Go go into uh, stores and businesses and whatnot, man. Make transactions. You're going to have to have that chip, man. And that's the goal of the elites, to have everybody chip so they can monitor everybody, man. Control your spending. You know, your income. So it's plain to see, man. And that's why he just casually skipped over the buying and selling part, man. All right. <laughs> you can't buy and sell with sin, man. This thing is plain, man. So this guy's going the hell off, man. And like I said, they all compromised on with Bishop Nate. They all sold out. They all don't took the bad. Hey, but they're going to be destroyed. At least they repent, man. Mark of the beast is sin. That don't make sense, man. Makes no sense. Karagma, Karox, Grapho. All your, all your records going to be on this chip, man. Your medical records. All your transactions. Your bills. It's going to be on this chip, man.
You see that syringe? This syringe. The delivery system, that's that Karox, man. Like I said, that goes into piercing. All right. Luke 19 and 43, Psalms 22 and 16. That's what this Karox is, man. It goes into piercing, digging. This is what John the Revelator saw, man. This syringe, a stake, a palisade. That's what it looks like. All right. It's plain to see, man. You know. It's plain to see. But again, these guys are sold out. They're leading you astray. They're doing the bidding of the so-called white man. All right. So, yeah, man, like I said, we've done many videos uh, on this, man, and we're going to keep doing them until it's time to stop, man. You know, the mark of the beast is the microchip, man. The white man think make makes you thinking sin is pleasurable. Sin was going on well before the white man came into power, man. And again, IUIC, all right, did you, how shall speak of the mark of the beast? Was was Yahweh talking about the mark of the beast? And I think it's our uh, Matthew the fifth chapter. Was he talking about the mark of the beast? Matter of fact, I'll go get the scripture. What's that? Matthew 5. Since thinking sin is, is having the mark of the beast, that's what having it in your forehead is. Let's see. Let's see what Yahweh talking about in my blue letter going slow. So like I'll go get it. Matthew 5. Was Yahweh talking about the beast here? Uh, yep, Matthew 5 and 28. This is red letter Yahweh shall speaking. Now, was he talking about the beast right here? Since uh, having the mark of the beast on your forehead means to think about sin. Matthew 5 and 28. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh unto a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. So Yahweh shall saying, you thinking about it, you basically, uh, that's liking unto doing it. Was he talking about the mark of the beast here? Hell no, he wasn't, man. But according to IUIC, he was. If you, if thinking about sin is having the mark of the beast, Yahweh shall say, if, if you, if you thinking about it, um, basically you've done it already in your mind. Is that having the mark of the beast? Was Yahweh Shah speaking about the mark of the beast right here? No, he wasn't, man. No. Because that's not the mark of the beast, man. Thinking about sin and then doing it. That's not the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast is the microchip. This is the mark of the beast, man. This is the mark of the beast. It's plain to see if the spirit is dealing with you, man. It's plain to see. So Deacon Yahweh's up, you off, man. You going the hell off. And willingly, I think, in my personal opinion, I think you know it's the chip. But you done took that bag. You on the Bishop Nate, so you got to teach false doctrine. Going the hell off, man. Let's play the clip one last time with sound. And he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, Free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. That's what I was talking about earlier. In their right hand and in their forehead. Meaning to do sin and think sin. That's all it's nope, talking about. That's, li that's a lie. Ain't talking about some microchip. Get it bull crap out of your head. He's talking about the microchip. Ain't no microchip going to make you sin. People are stupid as hell. The white man puts a thought in your mind to make you think that sin is pleasurable. So again... <laughs> The white man puts a thought in your mind to make you think that sin is pleasurable. The Israelites was in sin well before the white man came into power. All right. So what about that, Deacon Yawasop? Did they have the mark of the beast? Was that the mark of the beast? No. And you end up thinking it and you end up doing it. That's the mark being in your head and in your hand. Mm. Completely okay. off, man. Completely off, man. Completely off. 
The mark of the beast is the microchip. All right. Deacon Yawasop, I-U-I-C. This is the mark of the beast, what you're seeing on the screen, man. All right. But a lot, most of you Israelites going to find that out the hard way. All right. And when it comes to pass, you know, when the hour of temptation come, you're going to have a decision to make. And because of false, the false teachers of all these other camps, these people, these Israelites are going to convince themselves and they may even still be hesitant to take it at first. But they're going to, as Esau come with the squeeze more and more, people start getting put to death, beheaded. All right, they're going to convince themselves, well, you know, it might not be so bad. I mean, it ain't the mark of the beast anyway. So, and I can repent. You know, these guys, false doctrine and teachings and lies are going to get a lot of people destroyed. They're going to have a lot of blood on their hands, man. But when that prophecy is fulfilled, you're going to know who the true men of the Lord are, man. Which are the uh, men of great millstone, starting with the apostles, the bishops, the elders, and all the men out there, true and sincere brothers, that's teaching likewise doctrine, the true doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the 100% truth, man. Then y'all people out there going to know. And that's why when it comes, y'all going to scramble. As the apostles always say, man. When it comes, y'all gonna scramble, man. Oh, what we do? What just like you did with the uh, with the snake venom, man? You gonna scramble? You ain't gonna know what the hell to do. But hey, we gonna see, man. See, this prophecy here is gonna be a game changer. This is gonna be the game changer, man. You know, other than your house shall coming back, this is gonna be the game changer, man. This finna have a world in a frenzy, especially you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Y'all finna be in a fucking frenzy out there, man, running like chickens with your head cut off because of this prophecy, man. Y'all scoffing and mocking at it. Ain't no microchip. You know. Hey, but we gonna see, man. And we can't wait for this prophecy to come to pass, Lord willing. You know, the Lord bring us through it and we don't give in to it, man. We resist it, man. We stay faithful to your how about you, my child. Lord willing, we don't take this shit, man. But hey, y'all out there gonna know, man. When this thing is made mandatory, y'all gonna know, man. Let's close out with that scripture, man. Get my blue letter. Ezekiel 33. This is the book of Ezekiel. Chapter 33, verse 33. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. Yep, that's what this prophecy going to do, man. The sea hip, that's what it's going to do. This is what we waiting for, man. All right. Who you going to serve when this thing is made mandatory? Whom shall ye serve this day, man? Choose this day whom ye shall serve, man. See, all the scoffing and mocking and key kin and shit going to stop in that day. When this thing is made mandatory and punishable by death, we going to see, man. We going to see. We going to see, man. I pray that this has been edifying to the elect through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in all truth and sincerity. Shalom, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the house of David, starting with the 144,000, followed by the one third remnant. All right, don't take this uh, chip, man. The microchip is the mark of the beast. Don't listen to these false prophets out there, man. The Lord ain't sent them, man. They teaching of their own mind, of their own belly, man. They're not teaching, thus said Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, thus said the Lord. They're teaching their own word for filthy lucre, man. Following these guys are going to get you destroyed. So get the hell away from them, man. The mark of the beast is the microchip. A bobble ball.
Shalom.